Hello everyone, this is Denise and welcome to Keep Your Armor On, which is my Christian channel. This specific channel is just for my Christian audience. Uh, sometimes there are devotionals, sometimes there are crafts to aid uh, in Christian gifts. And in this case, it's going to be my kalimba play now. This is my second kalimba video, and this is like day four of having the kalimba. Only day three of having the new kalimba here. Okay, so I just want to preface this video by saying that although I am new to the kalimba, I am not a new musician. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're seeing some of the things that um, I'm doing with the kalimba. And I wanna start this off by talking about uh, writing music for the kalimba. Now, so there are some really great tabs for the kalimba already. You can find them online. You can find them on YouTube videos and at some point as I make my collection I will make a video about some of my favorite resources for Klimba. For the most part there are a lot of songs that I like. I do listen to and play a lot of contemporary Christian music but I, for the most part I listen to and play a lot of gospel um, and those may not have been converted yet into Kalimba tabs. But a lot of times they are converted already into piano tutorials. So I am making Kalimba tabs that I want or arrangements that I want from piano tutorials. This is going to be a, like a skim because it's not going to get real deep into music theory because I'm not like I've taken music theory classes, but that was like 20 years ago. So I'm not really deep into music theory yet. At some point, in order to explain what's happening with the Klimba, I'm gonna have to refresh my music theory. But this is just basic, okay? What happens is, generally I scroll through YouTube to find tutorials on particular songs that I like. Generally, when someone's doing a YouTube tutorial, well, I don't want to say generally. I'd say 50% of the time, a YouTube tutorial is chords. And the other 50% of the time, the YouTube tutorial is the melody. And they do that drop down. So what I'm going to do is um, do a video in video and show you a small chunk of a YouTuber. I'm going to put his, his name on the screen or their name on the screen. I'm not really sure. Um, and I want you to see what the video looks like uh, as this person is playing the tutorial. It's, it's really great. It's one of those drop down tab things. And I'm really bad at those. I can't play with that in motion. I'm accustomed to watching things move from left to right. Like I'm reading a piece of paper, you know, music paper. So I prefer like the MIDI tabs or the, like I said, the quarter five. At uh, any rate, what I did is this particular person has a lot of tutorials and most of the times they have like a medium skilled one and then they have a simple one and it's in the key of C, which is beautiful because a lot of kalimbas come tuned for the key of C. You can retune your kalimba any way you want to. But I'm not going to bother retuning this kalimba every time I want a different key. Um, it's a good idea to have multiple kalimbas in that case. But for here, instead of tuning the kalimba for every key, it's actually easier for me to transpose every song into the key of C. Uh, and transposing is a whole other matter. And once I uh, go over the music theory again so I can give you the correct terminology, then I'll talk about transposing. At any rate, the tutorial is in the key of C already, and it is the melody of the song. So basically, let me open the notebook. This is going to be a little bit of a jump. This 
well, I should say these are going to be my uh, Kalimba notebooks. I saw this video and I want to say it might be Sam Salvador. I can't quite remember, but I'll try to remember to put it on the screen. And she had this beautiful notebook. She opened it up. She watercolored pictures of kalimbas and did some decoupage and all kind of mixed media stuff. And I was like, that is so cool because, um, like, I have plenty of videos on Bible journaling and card making and all kind of stamping and stuff, right? But I don't know. I just don't know if I'm going to get that detailed in my journal. What I am going to do is make these stickers and where did it go? Oh, there it is. I've decided to make these stickers for, well, maybe not this one, but anyway, for the Kalimba book. So this a tiny little sticker, which actually shows up remarkably well on the camera. Um, please excuse the fact that it looks like that. I need to change the ink in my printer. So next time you see the journal, it'll be a good picture. But these are 17 keys of the kalimba. And tune to C. And this shows you right here the notes that correspond on the um, scale, which of course is useful to me as a musician who reads music. And then down here is a little keyboard that shows you how they correspond to the keyboard. So uh, this is the C4 octave, and these are labeled four, five, and six. And then the C5 octave, then the C6 octave, okay? So that just helps me if I'm sitting at the piano and uh, looking at something and I am playing with my fingers. I'm, I'm knowing what the notes are going to be corresponding to uh, kalimba if it comes to that. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna glue those there. So, uh, this came from a YouTube kalimba tutorial, and this came from a YouTube kalimba tutorial. The tabs were already written out. And this one came from a YouTube kalimba tutorial. So I wrote them out for me with the words. And uh, this was this is kind of like my scribble sheet. I'm gonna put a clean sheet into this notebook here. And this is the one I'm working from for the piano. So as I watch the piano letters scroll down, I really have to slow down a video and pause it places. I'm writing down the notes. Okay, so this little guy would also be my reference here because it would have the notes here and the kalimba numbers here. Or actually, no, it has the notes down here and the kalimba numbers here. So I would just go through and write down the corresponding note for each, uh, corresponding kalimba number for each note. Because I actually prefer to look at the numbers on the kalimba than the, the notes, strangely enough. And that's mostly because, although in the piano I'd be looking at note names, a lot of people when they do their tabs on the kalimba are putting the numbers. So I just prefer to, to read the numbers. So when I make my clean copy, it will only have the numbers, okay? And then what I'm going to do is, this is going to be the clean book. And it's just a faux leather bound book picked up at a discount store. Nice journal, and it's a bigger page too, which I actually like. And uh, as much as I love to have the scripture here, it does take away from the space on the page. So I'll put what I want uh, later. Okay, as you see, I've already written the top of Oh Come to the Altar over here. And I'm going to carefully and blocky write out the lyrics. Let me show you a good page for that. Okay, so here's Oh Holy Night from the tutorial. And I very carefully wrote out the words nice and upright. My handwriting is not super best, so I had to really be careful every other line. Then I'm going to place the numbers on the top. Make sure there's lots of space. I'm also decided that I'm gonna 
try to do them in two different color inks, uh, whichever two colors I decide. Something to make the numbers stand out. Uh, another thing, uh, like I said, I don't want to get too deep into this because this is something I want to discuss. I want to talk a little bit about music theory. Now, these are the notes for the melody. But also what I did is I wanted to add a little bit of the notes um, for the bass. And you can see there are these dashes here. And that's where after I did the melody, I decided to fill in the little harmony notes here as much as I possibly could just to give it, you know, more depth. So let me show you. Still working on how to play this. This is kind of messy. Still working on how to play this um, with the camera in the way. Okay. Oh, got my hands over the, the wawa holes. Okay. That sounds nice. Yes. Okay, see, this is the extra notes. And that is the actual, the A and the D, and then there's like an A and an E. And those are the baseline notes that are playing as the, if you were using the piano. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Then it's A and E. Okay, now this one, And this one, I would play a D and an F, and then a C and a C, okay? So what I'm doing is filling in filling in that bass with the bass line, the notes that would be on the left hand with the piano to give it that depth. So we got a D, an F, and then a C, and a C. And in this case, this is part of the D chord. And in this case, this is the octave. Okay, and so basically that's where I'm at right now. Um, this is not really a tutorial, it's just kind of a, a vlog basically of where I am at. And hopefully by today, I will have made my clean copy. And by the end of the week, I will have practiced and I should be able to relatively smoothly play through the first section of that song. And then that's where I'll, you know, I'll record that just to show my progress. And hopefully to encourage you all to practice your kalimba. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Have a great day.